Hey everybody, it's me, Greg Manorino, back for my post-market wrap-up. Yes, on this lovely day, Wednesday, June 6th, 2018. Wild ride today in this market. I want to try to put a perspective on what happened, why it happened, and maybe what we can expect here um, moving forward. This morning, like I covered in the video that I did at that time, Stocks opened higher, gave back those gains. There was a, a lot of confused people on CNBC who are still keeping up the narrative. Sit down, please. Sit down for this one. That we now have a housing shortage crisis. No, this is, this is a false narrative of epic proportions. We have <laughs> a crisis because there's not enough affordable housing. It is a bubble. They will not tell you that. Um, it's, it's incredible. But, okay, that's neither here nor there. Let's move forward. Bonds sold off big time today. Most of the day, it kept stock gains muted. Now, I know for a fact that you were following that bond market chart on my website. If you noticed, you can have a look at it right now. It's still there. Bonds started to bottom out. When they bottomed out, you'll see a couple of green candlesticks there. I mean, wham! Stocks went right up. At that time, I took up a small position because I really wasn't trusting it too much. Uh, calls on SPY. I had an okay day today. Not anything phenomenal, but made some money here. Um, so that was your cue. I mean, I told you this morning, watch that bond market. Soon as that was bottoming out, that was your cue to buy calls. SPY, triple Q, whatever. Anyway, um, it's, it, it's really not that hard, people. Uh, and, and I really hope, again, you're taking advantage of everything I set up for you. I want you to freaking win. Now, let's talk about something else here that I think is no one's talking about right now. The financials. The financial sector put on, I think, almost 2% today. Why? What's going on here? And that helped to lift the entire market as well. Well, why would that happen? First of all, the financial sector is the largest sector of them all. In this guy's opinion that's sitting here in front of you, I have explained to you that we are going to get a Federal Reserve rate hike this month. I can't tell you how many people have written to me over the past several days who are explaining that I am wrong on this. Look, I may very well be wrong on this, but the market doesn't think so. Financials are gaining here counting on a Fed rate hike. It's going to be insignificant. 25 basis points short end of the curve, that's it. Um, so financials went higher, pulled stocks with it, and, and again, if you were paying even the slightest bit of attention today, as soon as those bonds started to bottom out, stocks took off. There, your cue was to buy calls. You could have done like I did, be real cautious, uh, don't take up a real big position. I didn't get to add to it. I always take up a small position initially. You all know that. I was leery to add to it uh, as it went up. I only held a position for a very short period of time, honestly. Um, if I would have held on to it longer and added to the position, I would have made a really nice gain today. I wasn't smart enough to do that. That's okay. Still had a profitable day. That's all that matters. So these are the things that we need to watch. Financials are leading here because the, it's counting on the Federal Reserve rate hike, which will happen. If it does not happen, financials will suffer, market will go down. You understand? Very, very simple set of dynamics. So for those of you that are continuing to write to me and tell me I'm wrong, again, I get, I get emails from people, Greg, you're wrong, and that's it. They don't even tell me why I'm wrong. Uh, does that make any sense to you? Uh, like I said, could be wrong. I sincerely doubt that I am wrong here. Market seems to be pricing it in. Like I said, if it doesn't happen, stocks will suffer. 
So let's look forward to tomorrow here. So I, I think there's some cash to be made. Again, same scenario for you and me. Keep your eye on that bond market. If they start buying here, stocks will move higher. Unless we get meaningfully over that 3%, you know, 3.1 3 is that red line in the sand. Eh? Unless they squash the dollar. If they manage to push the dollar meaningfully lower than it is now, it will push further out that red line in the sand. That's my opinion, honestly. I think that's why Jeffrey Gunlock got his red line wrong when he had put his 2.6% on the 10-year red line. The dollar was much stronger, you see? So, um, and I've explained that before. It, there's a compensatory mechanism going on here between the dollar and the 10-year yield. So look, what I'm trying to do is put a perspective on all this so you and I can rip the face off of this beyond recognition. That's the truth. And you can do this even by being conservative. You don't got to go crazy. Um, anyway, <laughs> with that said, um, let's see how this plays out tomorrow. Uh, and, and as always, it's going to be lovely. It's going to be interesting and fun. And, uh, and that's it. All right. I'll, I'll uh, see you in the morning.